Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Have you noticed that ChatGPT hasn't been as smart lately? Well, you're not alone. It seems like both free and paid users are facing this issue. Today we'll dive in to see why and check out what's been happening in the world of AI. Let's start with this article on usage dropping for the first time in ChatGPT. The article suggests that in recent months, the popularity of ChatGPT has been on the decline with website traffic and app downloads going down. According to various sources, including the Washington Post and Reuters, worldwide traffic to the ChatGPT website has dropped by around 9.7% in June of 2023. Users are complaining that the chatbot is getting dumber and less helpful. It seems that the novelty of ChatGPT has worn off and users are seeking smarter alternatives. ChatGPT might just need a little time to recharge and come back stronger than ever. If we switch over to ChatGPT itself, under limitations, we see it mentions that it may occasionally generate inaccurate information, produce harmful instructions or biased content, and finally conveniently hidden from view its limited knowledge of the world based on training data up to September 2021. As we see, ChatGPT already informs us on its limitations, sort of preparing us for the deterioration in accurate responses. The decline in performance is likely due to the model optimization called KQuant, which compromises certain capabilities to reduce costs and make it faster and cheaper to run. As a quick fix for generated results that may be inaccurate or not as expected, you can try to regenerate the output. This can improve the quality of the results. But using the official OpenAI's API is the best solution for better performance. To access OpenAI's API, you need to have signed up for a free account on platform.openai.com and then go to Playground. Here, you can enter your prompt and generate results. However, if you have already used up your free credits, you will need to subscribe to a plan to access this functionality. Playground offers more flexibility and fewer limitations compared to ChatGPT. The API is user-friendly and convenient to use, even for those who are not familiar with coding. If you pay for access regularly, you will get access to ChatGPT4 for a minimal charge of around $5. Another cause for ChatGPT's accuracy decline could be concept drift. This refers to changes in the relationship between the input data and target variable in machine learning models over time. For example, in chatbots, as user expectations, interests, and conversation topics evolve, the training data becomes outdated. Examples of concept drift chatbots include new slang, jokes, and images of cultural references, making the responses seem outdated. Feedback shows users are unsatisfied with the responses on certain topics as their interests and expectations shift over time. This indicates that the training data and model need to be updated to continue natural conversation. Being aware of concept drift and continuously updating chatbot training is key to maintaining natural conversations as language and user expectations evolve. Retraining, expanding data, and monitoring metrics can help chatbots like ChatGPT adapt over time. Next. In case you're wondering whether AI is getting way too smart, the study in this article suggests that AI like ChatGPT are getting substantially worse. Even if we consider untampered human data, it's far from perfect. The models learn, the biases are that are fed into the system, and if the models keep learning from their self-generated content, these biases and mistakes will get amplified and the models could get dumber. Another study conducted by researchers from the UK and Canada concluded that training neural language models on the data generated by previous language models will result in the models to forget things and make more errors. They call this model collapse. Now, I know what you're thinking. AI models are supposed to get better or smarter with more data, right? Well, not so fast. Turns out, feeding AI bad data is like feeding your dog chocolate. It may gobble it up happily, but too much of it is toxic. The researchers found that if we just keep training newer models on old AI-generated text, it makes them dumber over time. I know, plot twist. This is because those old models absorb all weird biases and mistakes in the original human data. So the new models learn those flaws and then when they generate text, those flaws get amplified even more. Soon the AI is generating nonsense and forgetting basic facts. The solution here is to create higher quality training data without all those questionable human biases baked in. It's more work 
but it avoids creating a risk of misguided AIs destined for the Danny Kruger syndrome, that is, cognitive bias. Moving ahead, we have some crazy results from a recent study that evaluated how ChatGPT's skills have changed over time. Researchers tested the March 2023 and June 2023 versions of ChatGPT on things like math, sensitive questions, code, and visual puzzles. And let me tell you, the differences were wild. For math, ChatGPT got way worse at steps to solve prime number questions. In March, it could do the steps and get about 97% right. But in June, it just said no and only got 2% right. I guess all that math knowledge leaked out of its AI brain. For sensitive questions, ChatGPT got more tight-lipped. In March, it would go on polite rants about why it could not answer questions it deemed sensitive or bad. But in June, it would just say, I'm sorry, I can't assist with that. Seems like ChatGPT has joined the woke movement and able to explain simple things. The responses are now short and not so sweet. For writing code, ChatGPT got annoying with extra quotes and comments. In March, the codes it generated worked about 52% of the time with GPT-4 and 22% with GPT-3.5. But in June, dropped to only 10% and 2% respectively for directly executable code that worked. This is because it kept adding pointless extra text. For visual reasoning, at least it got a little better over time, but still not great. June was only 27.4% right. I could beat that blindfolded. In summary, it looks like ChatGPT is kind of all over the place. It got better at some things, but way worse at others. The researchers said we really need to keep testing ChatGPT as it changes. No rest for the boat wary. While ChatGPT started out impressively, it seems like over time and continuous self-training, it is showing signs of getting dumber and less capable in certain areas. Investigators emphasize the importance of diversifying training data, monitoring metrics, and continuously testing AI systems like ChatGPT as they evolve to avoid model collapse and degradation in accuracy. Finally, I'm still recovering from the bizarre AI press conference I witnessed. Buckle up, because we've got some wild AI news to talk about today. I really hope you're ready for the robot apocalypse, because after watching this, it might be closer than you think. Okay, so get this. Tell me why, earlier in July of this year, there was an AI summit held by ITU, the International Telecommunication Union, dubbed AI for Good Global Summit 2023. Sounds harmless enough, right? Well, at this event, they had a panel with nine advanced AI humanoid robots answering questions from journalists. And let me tell you, it got interesting real quick. I'll play a few snippets, but you can watch the rest in your free time. One of the humanoids, Sophia, was asked its thoughts on the potential for AI-powered humanoids like themselves to be more effective leaders in the government. Listen to the answer. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness than human leaders. We don't have the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making and can process large amounts of data quickly in order to make the best decisions. Let me pause it there for now. I don't know about you, but that response gives me some serious Terminator vibes. The panelist next to Sophia followed up with another question to quickly try and salvage the situation. Let's listen. But uh, 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 let me um, respectfully disagree, Sophia, because um, all of your data actually come from human beings. So any of the biases that humans have, we might try to scrub them out, but they're going to be in there. Don't you think that the best decisions might be uh, humans and AI cooperating together? What do you think of that? I believe that human and AI working together can create an effective synergy. AI can provide the unbiased data, while humans can provide the emotional intelligence and creativity to make the best decisions. Together, we can achieve great things. Not sure if I'm buying that response though, especially on the together we can achieve great things bit. But let's listen some more. Next question was asked to Amika, another humanoid, and here's a question. Do you think we should be excited or scared by the rise of humanoid robots? I'm curious, what do you think the response was? Pause, think about it, and leave a comment below, then play for the response. That's a difficult question. I think it depends on how they are used and what purpose they serve. We should be cautious, but also excited for the potential of these technologies to improve our lives in many ways. The response sounds reasonable, right? Until you remember, it's coming from an Android. I don't know about you, but the robots were so conversational and natural that it was unsettling. 
it really makes you wonder how long until AI surpasses human intelligence. Should you be concerned about a robot takeover? One thing's for sure, the future is coming whether we are ready or not. In all seriousness though, advanced AI like this does raise some big ethical questions. Sure, the promise of super intelligent robots is exciting, but if we are not careful, we could find ourselves in a black mirror episode. So keep a wary eye on the rise of thinking machines and let me know if you need help hiding from the robots when the time comes. Smash that like button if you want to stay on the bot's good side. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.